Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over your classwork assignment for today. When you go to our Google Classroom page, you are going to see that your assignment is to complete IXL topic 7th grade T1, which is Solutions to Inequalities. So we're going to head over to IXL. We're going to remember that we can open up our document to show your work. I have mine open right here, and we're going to split screen between IXL, the show your work paper, and our calculator. I'm going to head over to IXL, make sure that I'm clicked in seventh grade math. I'm going to scroll down to letter T and find number one, solutions to inequalities. And now I'm going to go through some practice problems. So the first thing we should always do is click learn with an example. So we can see that the directions. Is n equals 11 a solution to the inequality below? Our inequality is 1 is less than n. And our choices are yes or no. So we have to do some work in order to figure that out. We have to substitute or plug n when it equals 11 into this inequality. We want to see if 11 makes this inequality true. Okay, so all we're going to do is take out the n and substitute in the 11. So now when we read this, it's going to say 1 is less than 11. And we have to think to ourselves, is 1 less than 11? Yes, it is. So then we would click yes, because that means 11 is a solution to this inequality. 11 does make this statement true, so we're good. All right, let's go back to practice and do some together. All right, right here. Is y equals 76 a solution to the inequality below? Well, I'm going to split screen. Remember, we drag one window and drag it all the way over. And then we have our other one. Okay, so if I do this, I'm going to type using Kami y over 38, or y divided by 38, less than one. Okay, now I wanna do the same thing, but I'm gonna substitute in the number that they gave me in the problem, which is 76. So we have 76 divided by 38, less than one. I'm gonna pull up my calculator. And I'm gonna put that right in the calculator. So let's turn it on and hope that it works for us today. So we have 76 divided by 38, enter, and we get 2. So on my next line, I'm going to write 2 less than 1. I'm going to think to myself, hmm, is 2 less than 1? No, it's not. 2 is bigger than 1. So no, this is not a solution to this inequality. It does not make it true. So I'm going to highlight no and click submit. Let's try another one. Over here, I have the inequality d greater than 5. Okay, the number they're giving me to substitute in is 4. So everywhere we see a d, we're going to substitute in the number 4. So I'm going to write 4 greater than 5. I'm going to think to myself, is 4 greater than 5? No, it's not. 4 is smaller than 5. So again, this is going to be no, and we're going to submit. Okay, over here, this looks like a nice good one. We're gonna do some adding. So we have y plus four less than five. Now, the value for y I'm going to substitute in is three, right there from the problem. So three plus four less than five. I'm gonna highlight what we substituted in so that we can see that that is what changed. Now I'm gonna pull up my calculator and do three plus four. If you knew that without your calculator, awesome. If you didn't, your calculator is only here to help you, not hurt you. Three plus four gives us seven. Here we go, seven less than five. Hmm, is seven less than five? No, I think I'd rather have seven cookies than five. So I'm going to say that is not true, and submit. Here, this is a nice easy one. We don't even have to show our work. 
10 is greater than or equal to B. All we're going to do is substitute 6 right here from our problem. Is B equals 6 the solution to the inequality below? In for B. So 10, I believe we have a greater than or equal to symbol right here. Oops. No? Not going to let me answer it. Oh, there we go. Still nothing? All right, we're going to draw it in. Tech problems. All right, greater than or equal to B. Mm -hmm. Now my next line, same thing. 10 greater than or equal to what they gave to us in the problem which was a six. So now we're going to take a look at this. Come on. Again, I'm going to highlight really quickly what we substituted in so we see the change. All right, so let's think about that. Is 10 greater than six? Is 10 equal to six? 10 is not equal to six, but 10 is definitely bigger than six. So yes, this is is a possible solution and we're going to submit all right so make sure if you need to show your work you show your work if you don't need to show your work go for it do an awesome job make sure you get that smart score of 80 before you click mark as done or turn in on google classroom bye